so how are you so today we are solving this problem find the maximum length of valid subsequence part 2 so we are given an integer array nums and a positive integer k so uh, we have to find the subsequence a subsequence uh, uh, of nums with the length x is called valid if it satisfies this condition so what it does it mean is like sub 0 and sub 1 so sum of the two elements and then we find the modulus of with k the given k we have given an integer k should be equal to if we get the another next two variables right the sum of them and modulus so here this you can observe one thing this sub 1 was here and continuously it is the first element of the next pair okay so this is included so everywhere this so uh, if we do the modulus with the sum of these two variables it should give always the same value then we have to find this kind of subsequence and the maximum length of that so you can visualize like this for example our k is 3 and this is our nums okay so in this case what will happen if we go ahead let's say if we proceed to get the sum of these so in this case what will happen if let's say I am starting from here if I do 1 plus 2 okay so it would be 3 so 3 modulus 3 would be giving me 0 then I am starting 2 and 10 so this would be 2 plus 10 which is 12 so 12 modulus 3 is also giving me 0 then I am including 10 plus 5 so this would become 15 so the, again the modulus with 3 would giving 0 then 5 plus 13 so this is 18 so 18 is also giving modulus 3 as 0 so you can observe here that 1 2 4 5 13 this could be one of the answer and in fact this is the longest one in this case so we have to get in that way okay so uh, how would we do that so one thing you guys can observe here that if I do the modulus here modulus with the 3 uh, for 1 what it would give it would give 1 only okay if I do modulus with 7 so it would also give 1 me this will give 2 only right so what I am doing is just doing the modulus operator with 3 because k equal to 3 so I am replacing them so what about this 10 this would giving me 1 what about this 4 so 4 will also giving me 1 5 giving me 2 remainder right 13 would be giving me 1 so I have just replaced the every number with their corresponding modulus with, with this k right so now what where we got our maximum uh, answer was this right it was like starting from 1 then we added 2 then we added 10 then 5 then 13 right this was our biggest uh, valid uh, subsequence right so if I remove these guys the one which are unused for us right so it would be looks like this right so I am removing these also okay so now you can observe one thing here that all those who are coming at odd place has the same remainder right this guy has one first one has one then third one has one then fifth one has one and similarly those who are sitting at the even positions they also have same remainder 2 2 so we can say that uh, all those elements which are occurring at uh, even positions and all those who are occurring at odd positions are congruent modulo so what does it mean is congruent modulo is nothing just like you consider 5 and 7 okay so 5 and 8 you can consider 5 and 8 and if we do the modulus with 3 what they will give both of them will be giving remainder 2 only right 8 also would give me remainder 2 right so in this case 5 and 8 both are congruent modular for k equal to 3 you guys would have got an idea that if we replace all these numbers with, with their corresponding modulus values with the k uh, and then in that if we found an alternate uh, sequence right we are repeating for example in that case we have to find all the alternate which will which will be repeated right so for example here starting with one then we got a two then we have to get next one any one of them let's say we are taking this guy then we have to take another which is changing now this position two then we have to take next guy which is one right 
so in this way we can get the sequence now there could be multiple sequence so we have to find the maximum one now uh, we can use the dynamic programming here why dynamic programming so one thing is clear that uh, the the modulus value cannot go beyond the k right it can go only from 0 till k minus 1 if we do the modulus with any value with the k it can go only up to from 0 till k minus 1 right it cannot go more than k minus 1 so this is kind of a uh, fixed value right so our modulus so what we will do is we will traverse through this nums or we can take one more better example for filling the entire table itself so uh, for example uh, you can see here let's say this is our nums 1 2 4 5 so what would be the modulus uh, with the 3 k equal to 3 so uh, modulus with k it, it this will give us 1 only what this will give this will give 2 2 modulus 3 is 2 only 4 modulus 3 is 1 only and 5 modulus 3 is again it is 2 right so we can see here that these are repeating 1 then 2 then 1 then 2 right so 4 length should be our answer right so what we will do is we will basically create a k into k dp array why k into k because uh, we are varying only up to k minus 1 right from 0 to k minus 1 right so we can have here like this 0 to k minus 1 and initially all the values are 0 so I am not filling you can consider everything is 0 now what we will do is we have to uh, look for all the possibilities right like this dp of ij equal to dp of ji plus 1 I will tell you why okay so first of all these ij are already like modulus thing okay these i value you can see these are all modulus right which are already done with the percent of k modulus k now dp ij basically any dp cell here is basically storing the length that is uh, is having the remainder equal to i at the j index right so what we are doing here is why this dp ij equal to dp j i plus 1 because you can observe here see here when we had this 1 and 2 when we came here at this location 1 2 and this guy is uh, coming as a see here dp ij dp ji so this has to be alternate positions right you can see here 1 and 2 then then 2 and 1 right so if we see here whatever length came till here 1 and 2 okay then we calculated here we found that uh, whatever length till here plus 1 so see here and this has to be alternate so that is why dp ij equal to dp j i plus 1 like 1 2 2 1 right so i j j i like that it has to be repeated so that is why we are doing dp ij equal to dp j i plus 1 right because all the all in the answer all the alternate positions has to be repeated would be same so see here this is the alter, alternate position right so previous one and that is why the, this is adding one value so dpij dpji 1 2 2 1 same thing happening here so we are adding every time plus one because at that time it is increasing by one length okay so so here i is the remainder right and remainder co can go from 0 till k minus 1 so that is why i i value can vary 0 up to 2 now j value would be varying like for example we are starting from num 1 right so this is first value is 1 and its modulus value is 1 right so our j would be having here 1 right so dp of g, uh, 0 1 equal to whatever is the dp of, uh, uh, of 0 1 right plus 1 because we are doing opposite of it j i right so 0 1 plus 1 so what is there at 0 1 plus 1 at 0 1 it is 0 only right so this is our 0 this is 1 so this we have to make now 1 right so 0 1 would become now 1 okay so let's make it 0 1 equal to 1 similarly we will check here now this time here this is 1 1 so this also would be opposite also 1 1 right so whatever is there at 1 1 plus 1 right so 1 1 is 0 only plus 1 so at 1 1 also we will make it 1 now so at 1 1 we have to remove this and we will make it 1 similarly we will look for this guy 2 1 so at 2 1 is equal to would become 1 2 plus 1 
वन टू प्लस वन सो दिस ऑल्सो वुड बी बिकमिंग नाउ वेन वी एड दिस वन सो दिस टू वन ऑल्सो वुड बी बिकमिंग वन हेयर दिस इज अवर टू वन सो सेम वे वी हैव टू फिल फॉर एंटायर थिंग लाइक वी लेट से लेट से वी आर डूइंग फॉर दिस एज वेल सो नम टू सो वट इज द मॉड्यूलस थिंग हेयर मॉड्यूलस थिंग इज कमिंग टू सो नाउ अवर जे वुड बिकम हेयर टू 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 and we would be evaluating all those value for this formula now this would become 2 2 2 similarly we have to change here also right similarly here also we have to change the opposite thing so in this way let's say when we will come at here this is 4 right so what would be the modulo here modulo is 1 only so this time j would become 1 so when we fill this entire table it would be finally look like this it would be look like this okay so if we see here what is the maximum value here these are the lengths right and 4 is the maximum value so 4 should be our answer you can verify also see here uh, these are the alternate position 1 to 2 then changing 2 to 1 then again 1 to 2 so we found the four length here so this four should be our answer so so see here first of all we are creating this dp array that also of size k and k only because anyway we are dealing only the modulus uh, values not in the actual values okay so this is max length variable now what we are doing here is first of all we are traversing through this nums right and we are getting the whatever is the current modulus value just uh, these things we are we were doing here these things right we visualize like this so this is same thing we are doing here we are getting the modulus value now what we are doing is we are starting from 0 till k minus 1 you can see here then same way we were doing here right we were starting from 0 i equal to 0 and then we were going till k minus 1 because all these remainders might be the possibility right so we are going in that way now what we are doing here is dp of previous model so this value right these could be the modulus values right so dp of previous mod and cur mod right cur mod is the value which we got the modulus here so in this value what we are doing this value would be the reverse of it cur mod and previous mod plus 1 why we are doing in this way because our things has to be alternative way and if it is repeating then we have to increase it by 1 see here that is why we were if we are getting a sequence mod like 1 and 2 then it has to be 2 and 1 so that is why previous mod cur mod then we have cur mod and previous mod and plus 1 because it is repeating so length should be increased by 1 okay now what we are doing here is we are getting this max length either we can do first we can fill the entire dp array right first we fill this entire and then check that what is the maximum but in that case we will use two pass so that is why what we are doing is instead of going again we are keeping the maximum value while we are updating these value at that time itself maximum value so that everything would be done in the single pass only so we are keeping this maximum value and once we are coming out of this loop this max length would be the maximum value we would be having so let me execute this code i am running it and let me submit it Which I have already, so it is ninety point seventy two percent faster. So uh, the space complexity here is k square. We are not taking n into k, and the time complexity complexity is also uh, n into k because every time we have to at least once we have to traverse through the nums array, right? So thank you for watching this video, and if you guys have any concern, please make a comment over there. Thank you.